Method 1. Check the status of Xbox Live services. First, check if Xbox One services go down. By go to access the Xbox Live status webpage and then see if there is a message saying all services up and running. Method 2. Clearing the alternate MAC address settings. Start your Xbox One console and get to the main dashboard. Once you get there, use the vertical menu on the right or left depending on your user preferences and access the settings menu. Once you're inside the settings menu of your Xbox One console, select the network tab from the vertical menu on the right. Next, use your thumbstick to access the network settings option from the right hand pane. Once you're inside the network tab, select advanced settings from the list of available options. Next, access the alternate MAC address menu from the advanced settings menu. You'll then see a list of available options, but you need to select alternate wired MAC address, then click the clear button associated with it to clear the current alternate MAC address. Once the process is complete, restart your console and see if you can sign in with your account without getting an error at the next startup. Method 3. Restarting or resetting the router, modem. Method 4. Disabling Hyper-V, Windows 10 only. Press Windows key R to open up a run dialog box. Then, type CMD inside the text box and press Ctrl Shift Enter to open up an elevated command prompt. When you're prompted by the UAC, user account control, click yes to grant administrative privileges. Once you're inside the elevated command prompt, type the following command and press enter to disable the Hyper-V function altogether. Once the process is complete, close the high CMD prompt and restart your computer. The changes will begin. Method 5. Reset your IP address. Press Windows key R to open up a run dialog box. Then, type CMD inside the text box and press Ctrl Shift Enter to open up a command prompt with administrative privileges. Note, when you see the UAC prompt, click Yes to grant admin access and open an elevated command prompt. On the command prompt window, type the following commands one by one and do not hit the Enter key after each typing. Once the IP address resetting is completed, close command prompt and see if the error code persists. 